Hello fellow commanders and welcome to another Strategic Command World War 1 with me Bubble Box and Protosoka Multiplayer Okay Did he just run through a mine then? I think he might have run through a mine then One of my mines this time, we'll have a look when, the, uh, when it's our turn There's subs running around in the Baltic Sea Continues with his little attack and he brings another unit in Wow, he's really going for this uh, invasion, but I don't think he's going to be able to uh, keep it up, you know. He's kind of boxed in there without a supply, proper <laughs> supply source. <coughs> he is uh, kind of whittling down our submarines. Oh no, down to three health there with that sub. And it's going to be surrounded. Well, it won't be surrounded because we've got another sub there. Luckily, he's going to bring another ship in, is he? Oh, he's just... He's kind of going to position them so we can't get our bloody submarines out, I bet. I'm getting some artillery action going on as well. He's tr going to be trying to take Brussels back off of us. We are trying to get our artillery in position as well. He's got a full salvo going off here, though. Yeah, full salvo. And he's going to attack. He's got three units he can attack with, possibly more. Oh, we've got another artillery piece there. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of arty. Lots. I'll smell more else. He's got three art he's got three artillery pieces attacking Brussels. Wow. Our morale's holding out pretty well. We took the only took one health. I think we're gonna survive this turn at least. Oh, we took two damage there, yeah. Difficult for him, this one. One damage. One damage to the Brits. Two damage to the French. And back attacking our subs again. Again, while they're dealing with our subs, they can't be blockading. That's all I can think about that, really. Even though we've lost a couple of subs. And, oh, that was a big ship. What was that? That was a, that was a battleship. Okay, Russians coming down to try to do something about our flank attack. Oh, they're going to block us off this time. They've got a couple of nice units there now. More artillery. Okay. I'm a bit worried he could be ahead on the artillery game against us with research. You know, once those artillery get researched up, they're going to be immensely powerful in this game. But the Bulgarians are in! Yay! The Bulgarians are in now. That's going to really help us out. Did a little bit of damage to the Russian convoys again. Bulgaria's in. And we did get those extra points as well, of course, from Serbia surrendering for the Austrians. So the Austrians got a bunch of points to spend this turn. Now, Austrians, for as long as there is a clear route via Serbia and Bulgaria to Constantinople, we can send aid to our Ottoman ally to help them in the war against the Entente. Uh, not sure we want to do that just yet. Um, oh, we got some nice units for the Germans and a couple more cores for the Ottomans as well. Fantastic. Let's sort out... Submarines. We've got to get these back to base. Look, they've got upgrades, but we can't upgrade them because they're bloody stuck. Right, let's see if we can... I don't know. Let's see if we can get these out. Okay, we're getting them out. Right, let's get this one out as well. This one I'm happy... Yeah, we might have made it through there to get those back to base, hopefully. Now then, down here... We've got to get these subs back to base somehow. The whole, their whole fleet's here. We, we can't get through. We could go through this way, but oh, this is, this is kind of painful. There's this British ship here as well. What have they left here? I'd like. I'm going to move this one just to there. I'm going to bring this down. What I'd like to do with this, actually, is just to do a recon. How do I do that? I've forgotten. Do I press shift? I press shift. Okay, we're going to bring it one closer. I'm just going to recon out here to see what there is before we decide what we're going to do. 
What? How do we get? How do we take damage? A recon took damage. Wow. Okay. Well, we'll pull you back straight away. Well, in a second. So they've got their. Th they've got all their ships here still. I just. I'm a bit scared about committing. Oh, we've got our bomber in range here. Let's attack this guy. No damage, unfortunately. Can we attack from here? Oh, that is fantastic. Look at that. Oh, my God. He's left his ship in there. Okay. Boom. Boom. And I could even do a swap here and attack again. Rather than attacking these British units, it's worth attacking the shipping, I think. So I'm going to do a little swappage here. Attack that again. And, oh, that's beautiful. It gets us some national morale as well. Now we can continue attacking his units. Five damage there. So this is going to be more death for him. And we're just going to hold position there. And if he wants to land more units and send them to their death, then he can. Okay. So, we're going to bring this bomber a bit closer. Now then, what do we do with our subs? Ah, uh, we're on such low supply. I'd like to attack, but I don't. I, I don't want a chance losing my fleet, my subs, everything. I'm going to put this on. Well, I'll leave it on hunt. We'll try and get it around here. Yeah. Okay. So that one's going to be safe. I'm going to put this one on silent and try to sneak it through. Enemy contact. So it's been spotted then. All right. Oh, shit. That's down. That's down. That's dead. Oh, actually, maybe not. Oh, no, my... Oh, shit. <laughs> You're kidding me. Oh, another sub down. This is not good. I wonder if I can buy them back cheap. I bet I can't. Let's just check how much subs are. Subs are they're only they're two hundred. They're not mega expensive, but oh my god, I'm losing all my submarines. Okay, right now up here we're kind of doing okay. Well, I don't know where their submarine went, of course. So it's kind of put a stop to us moving up there. Um, need to pull these back if we're not going to use them. I'm going to pull this one. If we're going to go in without Dreadnoughts, we need them at full strength. Now, this submarine... Oh, this cr destroyer can go there. I'm going to pull this destroyer back. I'm going to pull this guy back. I'm going to put him in there to get fully done. I'm going to put him in there. Bring this guy forward. He's a 10. This guy is a 10. This guy's a 6. Actually, he needs to go in that port. This guy's a 10. We'll bring him forward. This guy's an 8. Put him into port. And we're going to bring this guy a bit closer as well. In fact, I'm going to put this one into port as well. Oh, oh whoa, 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 whoa. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Right, where's our... Ah, too far away. Well, I'm going to do something with this. I'm going to scout across here. Okay. That was friggin' painful, that was. And I've just moved all my other ships, so we can't... Oh, actually, I've got a shot with a destroyer here. I'm going to put it between there. Okay. I'm going to move it a little bit. I've got any other destroyers or anything, basically, that can move over there. That's not a dreadnought. That one could. This one. Ah. Oh. Gonna send it in that direction. It's hmm. a light cruiser. I'm gonna send that to there. Well, I think that'll do. 
and try and contain those Russian subs. Right, okay, so that's this has all been done, hasn't it? Yep. Again, they can land there to their heart's content. Um, now over here, Brussels took a little bit of a bashing and it does knock down the entrenchments. I didn't think... Yeah, so the artillery does knock down the entrenchment, but I can swap that out and give that reinforce. I think I get an immediate two entrenchment. Yeah, I do. Half of it gets entrenched, so I get an immediate two entrenchment. We'll keep moving our artillery across, which is filling up as it moves, which is amazing. I think it's filling up as it moves anyway. I'll move that one to there. That one to there. Everything else is just going to stay as it is on the Western Front. Mustn't forget about my new units we've got. We've got quite a few new units. Let's have a look up here. All looking pretty good. I'm going to overstrength these again. If you get the chance to overstrength stuff, I would advise to do that. I'm going to I'm going to reinforce these. <laughs> Excuse me while I've got the chance. I'm not going to do anything drastic movement wise until I've got all of my research going. So that's it, I think, for the Germans. Now, the Germans will also be in control of the Bulgarians, of course. So this looks like it's calmed down, but I'm going to do a little bit of attack there. And I'm going to swap this over for my Austrian unit. In fact, I'm just going to pull these out and put the Austrians in their place and still attack. I might get lucky we don't, but I think it was worth it. I will reinforce these German G dudes in Munich. And I think I'll reinforce these ones as well. So the Italian front starting to become static as well. I mean, I'm thinking I could move forward here. I'm, I'm going to chance this. No, that was a bad move, actually. Ah, uh, awkward. Okay. Reinforce here. So we've got some good units over here now to defend this area, including a couple of Germans. I'd like to fill this with Austrians though. And the Austrians, we could fill that with Austrians because we're gonna, these are all freed up now, which is amazing. Or what I'll do is I'll bring the Austrians over here. We'll release these Germans and we'll start doing a build up over here to take Romania. Yeah, I think we'll do that. So I'm just gonna simply move these across. In the meantime, we can just keep doing researches. One I'm gonna send over here for our little flank attack. In fact, I'll send two over there to help out with our flank attack. And these guys are going to go over to the Italian front. I'm not going to spend points operating them either. And we've got one commander there. I'm going to send the other commander over here. Because if we do manage to keep pushing over here, we're going to need the double commander for supply. And now then. Yeah, I think we'll send... I'm going to operate this over to the Western Front to help us over there, I think. Um, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Now, when we get our artillery in position, we're going to be wanting to attack Antwerp. Remember, I can only get, I can get one, oh, I can only get one in position. There. That's a little bit unfortunate. But I'm still going to bring this guy over. I'm going to put him down, down the south here. So I'll have another artillery piece there. So that's all of those moved. Oh, I for nearly forgot. We've got partisans on there. God damn it. I'm glad I put that commander there. Yeah, got to be careful of that. Oh, we've got partisans there as well. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, let's move him onto there. Bloody hell. So that's going to need to be replaced. Oh, I could have used this guy. Anywho, we've got the we've got some extra units here now, and what we're going to do, we're going to build these up on the on the Romanian front, ready to attack Romania. So I'm going to put that one there. We're going to have a commander up there, and we're going to have this one up there as well. And hopefully, we're going to be able to we're going to leave that one on Plevna, the one from Sofia. Um, I'm going to put that down there. That's a bit stupid, swapping them, but we might sort that situation later. 
The rest we're going to leave, so we're going to try to do a preemptive attack on Romania. Now, what we, whether we can do that is going to depend on whether we're going to get the units to be able to build up here. Now, I know there's a core on Kishinev, I think. We've also got a pu being pushed here, so I might move my... If I move this guy to here... Do a bit of an attack there. Okay. I'm going to put that there to defend. Pull my cavalry out. I've got this guy I'm going to move up actually to there. Oh, I could cut him off maybe. Ooh, yeah, let's do that. Boom. He's almost cut off. In fact, he is cut off, I think, because he hasn't got a road. Oh, that's, oh, that's tempting, isn't it? Let's move this bomber up a bit. I could do a bit of bombage. Let's do a bit of bombage there. I don't want to lose my cavalry, though. I think I'm safe moving it to the back there and doing a little attack. Hopefully it will survive the next turn. It's taking some damage, though. I might lose that cavalry piece. We'll see. And, of course, I did move them off of there as well. That's a pain. I think that's all I can do there. Yeah, we'll leave that like that, I think. And I'm not thinking I'm thinking, or I'm not thinking I am thinking I'm not going to attack, but I might attack this one. Three to two. Let's do that. Three damage. Th three damage back. Oh, my God. Let's do a little attack there. Two to two. Takes him down to four health. Mm, yeah, we'll do that. Oh. Oh. Do one more unit here so that if I do that again, I can swap. I mean, I can swap here. Let's do a little swap there. Two damage. Okay. Now, he's got artillery here, so it's a bit more dodgy. So I'm not going to attack there. I'm going to... I'll try I'll try it. I'll swap here. And maybe. Yeah, core cool down. That's worth it. Very nice. That's another core of the Russians, so that was definitely worth it. Nothing else to do there. Nothing to do there. These are all moving around nicely. Okay. Still got a lot of points to spend, especially for the Austrians. We'll do that shortly, but let's just head down for the Ottoman. Oh, hold on. We've got our subs down here. We're definitely going to... Can I not reinforce from there? Well, I think I can only reinforce up to eight there, but it does mean this has got full supply. Is it worth going down for a look? I need a recon plane really before I send my subs out. Um, let's put it on silent. Just carefully move down. Oh no, mines. Well, no, no longer mines. Let's keep, there's going to be something in there. There's a ship. Okay, can we take on a destroyer? Oh, there's another ship. Fuck's sake. Ah! Come on, do some damage. It's annoying. Okay, we'll leave them there then. Okay. Right. Over here, we've got another sub over here needs attacking. Oh, he's brought in... Ah, oh, I remember that. Yeah, he's brought in a battleship over here. I wonder how strong that is. Not strong enough, my friend. Oh, no, I shouldn't have moved there. There's another... Oh, my God, it's a dreadnought. Oh, my God. Oh, we did two damage to it, though. That's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. We've got our light cruiser here. Hmm... We've got our... Mm, this is just dodgy as hell. Right, we can move that back into port, actually. We'll do that. I'm going to reinforce this. Because if we can take... I'm going to send this... to try to kind of catch him out, moving back to port, maybe. Although he'll see that, but he won't see it if it's there, I don't think. So I'm going to send that to there. He may well bump into that, then. See if we can do a bit more damage to the Russians there. Uh, over here, 
we shall try to get over to Barton, but it might be worth just getting that reinforced. If we move that to there, reinforce this one up to full, then we'll have two adjacent. What we really need up there is a leader, to be honest. Now I have got another one of those, which means I could free up this unit, operate it. Yeah, let's operate this across, get that helping over on the east. And I actually don't think I need a unit in there because he's not going to land by sea and Bulgaria's in. So I don't think I needed a unit on there now, to be honest. No, I don't. No, I don't. However, we have got another unit, which means another two units, which means I could free up both of these cores. I'm going to overstrength this one this turn. I'm going to reinforce. Oh, I can't reinforce that one. Why can't I reinforce that one? That's weird. I'm going to op. Have I moved this one? That's crazy. Why can't I? Oh, it's not on a railway line. Of course it's not. Strange I can't reinforce it though. Past eight. So I could move this. Start moving this to a railway line. And then uh, we'll grab one of our new units and we'll stick that in there. <gasps> can't stick it in there. Oh my God. I can't get over there. That's bad news. Let's stick it there then. In fact, I'm going to stick them both there. And we'll get them in position next turn. Panic over. All right. Now down here, nothing to see here, I think. Oh, two damage against the Brits. I'll take that. Got some artillery back there. Should we move forward a bit? We've got our commander. I think that's why uh, our supply is pretty good there now. So let's uh, snuck forward a little bit. Snuck that one forward. I'm going to entrench there. And we're going to overstrength this one. Yeah, we'll do a little bit of damage while we can. Now, one idea. I wonder if they're going to keep a unit on sewers, aren't they? I was going to say we could like try a seaborne landing there. But they're definitely going to keep a unit on sewers. He wouldn't be that stupid. These are going to stay down there, but this guy is going to head up north. And that's all I'm doing, I think, for the Ottomans. Oh, hold on. I've got this cavalry unit making its way forward. And we've got these guys that need reinforcing. So we're going to reinforce these back up to max. Keep moving this. Oh, he was going to the north, wasn't he? We can think about trying to flank up there. So, yeah, he's moving north. Fully reinforce this guy. That'll do for the Ottomans. I think that's everything moved, as far as I can tell. Hmm, okay. That's my only bad move. Right, we've got plenty of points left. Uh, the Ottomans haven't, but the Austrians and the Germans. We've got these extra units. I'm going to hold one back. We're going to put this blimp down somewhere. Oh, yeah, against... Oh, yeah, we need a blimp here, for sure. That's going to be great against shipping, actually. Now, I've got another unit I'd like to put down somewhere. Where should we put this? Where is it going to be useful? Where can we start attacking a little bit? I can't really see. I mean, I'm... <sighs> Maybe we should start to build up to attack Warsaw, but I think we need to take R Romania out first. If we get Romania out, we're laughing. Um, I'm going to put this here. No, not there. I'm going to put this down here, one of them, because then I can overstrength. I can swap that, and then I can start overstrengthening this unit here. And then I can, I can just, let's just continue researching, I think. Do as much research as we can, because the Ottomans can do loads of research now, because they've got loads of points. And we're going to start off by putting another point. Oh, it's reached its maximum research. Oh, right. Okay, well, we're buying units then for the Ottomans, or uh, for the Austrians. Let's see what we've got. Purchase, purchase, purchase. Have we got any cheap ones to buy first? Yes, so we're going to grab our... Oh no, Ottoman, Austrians. Austrians. 
We've got one cheap unit there. We're going to grab that straight away. Now, what do we need? I'm thinking to get some submarines, you know, so that we can try and take control of the uh, Mediterranean a bit better. And we are we are researching submarine warfare quite a lot. So I'm going to get at least one sub this turn for the Austrians. And we're going to need a lot of artillery. Oh, we can't afford that now. I spent too can we? No, not quite. Marines. We can get more cores. Keep that attack going on that flank. But we've got a couple of extra units already. I'm going to get, you know what? I am going to get another sub for the Austrians. And what we're going to do for the Germans, I did notice, of course, they've got a cheap core. We're going to grab that first. And then we're going to look at their research. So, infantry getting done, naval warfare is now getting done, naval weaponry is getting done, industrial tech, trench, should we put another one? No, we'll, put, we'll get going on the industrial tech, get their money coming in, submarines are doing nicely, naval warfare is doing okay, I think we'll, we'll put one more into trench. Oh, insufficient funds. We're done. Okay, we're all done. Okay, guys, I think I'll spend another little, spend the rest of the points on some meaningless reinforcements. Any Austrians want any reinforcing? Any of you guys need some extra dudes? I don't think there's anywhere I can reinforce. I think. Ooh, you need a reinforce. Yes, you do. Yes, indeed. That's a whole cavalry unit down there. Anybody else need a bit of reinforcing? I think I've done everyone I can. I think that's it then for this turn. Let's end the turn. See if we get any notifications. Bulgaria's in, of course. I'm not sure what... Oh, Denmark's complaining because we're taking our our submarines through the Baltic, of course, through to the Baltic. Infantry warfare level three for the Germans. Oh, now they're interdicting. Oh, that's that's the Russian. So they're interdicting our Swedish MPPs now. What a pain. OK, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching, guys. Please do give me a thumbs up. That's really important for me. It really motivates me. Subscribe, ring the bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.